Hey, what is going on, guys? In this video today, we're going to be going over the most important known information about Fortnite Season 8. I made a video like this about three months ago called Everything We Know About Fortnite Season 7, and you guys seemed to really enjoy it. Plus, it was super fun to make, and also check after the fact what ended up being right and what ended up being wrong. And believe it or not, by the time I upload this video, Fortnite Season 8 will only be a little over a week away. Season 7 is set to end Wednesday, February 27th, and therefore Season 8 should begin on Thursday, February 28th. However, once or twice in the past, Fortnite has changed the beginning date of a season right before it was set to start, but they actually made this season two weeks longer due to their winter holiday break, so I doubt they'll do that again. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so like I said in the Everything We Know About Season 7 video, anytime you discuss a new season in Fortnite, you need to start with the potential theme. One of the most exciting things about Season 8, in my opinion, is the fact that it's the first season in a while where there's a real mystery about the theme. Season 7 was scheduled to run from the beginning of December to the middle of February, so everybody pretty much thought it was going to have a winter Christmas holiday theme. And that's pretty much exactly what ended up happening. Season 6 started right at about the beginning of fall and only a few weeks before Halloween, so again, most people correctly guessed some kind of a fall Halloween scary theme. It was pretty much the same thing with Season 5 and its clear ties to summer as well. So, I think it's fair to say that Season 8 is the first new season since Season 4, where people aren't just totally 100% confident in any of their theories about the theme. But that doesn't mean that there still aren't some really good guesses that do make a lot of sense due to various in-game or leaked information. I would say that the most common guess for the theme of Season 8 at this current moment is some kind of aquatic slash underwater theme. I would say that this is also the best guess because there's actually a solid amount of evidence that points towards it. First off, ice was obviously one of the biggest parts of Season 7 in general. There are tons of ice-themed cosmetics from the Battle Pass, the Tier 100 skin is literally called the Ice King, and a solid quarter of the map is currently covered in ice and snow as well. But another somewhat odd thing that we've seen a lot of in Season 7 are multiple references to things that would make ice melt. Tier 62 of the Free Battle Pass gives a spray called Melting Snowman, and Tier 62 of the Bought Battle Pass gives an emblem that is simply a picture of the sun. For a totally winter-based season, that definitely feels a bit out of place and kinda like a hint. Plus, Stage 4 the Prisoner skin is literally a guy on fire that looks like he's melting. And if that isn't enough to convince you, keep in mind that Season 8 is currently scheduled to run from pretty much the beginning of March to around the middle of May. So since that's throughout the majority of spring, melting ice actually makes a lot of sense. And as previous seasons have showed us, Fortnite loves to tie their seasonal themes into the real life seasons. So what happens when you combine fire and melting with ice covering about 25% of the Fortnite map? Obviously, you're going to get a ton of water. And that's basically the guiding reason why an aquatic slash underwater theme actually makes a lot of sense. There are also a few battle pass on locks that seem to be teasing this theme as well. Tier 48 unlocks a spray called Porthole, which shows what appears to be a bunch of underwater fish seen through a submarine window, and Tier 84 unlocks an emblem which is simply a picture of an octopus. Plus, in the past we've gotten a fair share of aquatic-based skins and other matching cosmetics. This includes the Scuba Diver skins, Chomp Senior, and most recently Fish Stick. So, I think it honestly does make a lot of sense. It has a solid amount of evidence slash hints backing it up, and it does kind of tie in with the season of spring as well. However, as I mentioned earlier, even though this is the theme that so far people are most confident in, nobody can really be sure. And some alternate themes that have at least decent evidence backing them up as well include a fire theme, a natural disaster theme, and a dragon slash medieval theme. And as we talk more about other Season 8 information and leaks in this video, you'll probably see where the idea between those other themes are coming from as well. 
So one of the biggest mysteries regarding the lead up to Season 8 are the earthquakes which are currently occurring a few times a day in Fortnite. Leakers have already used the in-game files to create an expected schedule of times for all the future earthquakes, and so far through about 5 days, it's been totally accurate. If it continues to be accurate, that means that we're going to be getting 1-3 to three earthquakes every day pretty much right up until the beginning of Season 8. As of right now, the last earthquake is scheduled for 3.18pm Eastern Standard Time on February 27th. So, I think it's apparent that these earthquakes are surely going to play some kind of role in the beginning of Season 8. There's already been about 10 earthquakes at the time I'm doing this video, and I'll put an image on the screen right now so you guys can see the locations. So far, there isn't really much of a pattern here, other than the fact that they sort of seem to be grouping together, and almost all of them seem to be occurring on the upper right-hand corner of the map. I've actually heard some pretty plausible theories regarding how the earthquakes would play into an aquatic theme. The first one is that once the entire snow slash ice biome on the map is melted, a major earthquake will occur and create a tsunami that will flood the rest of the map. And if you guys paid attention in science class, you would know that earthquakes are the most common cause of the biggest tsunamis. The other common theory is that the earthquakes will basically create a bunch of massive cracks in the map, which will then be filled with water from the melted ice and create some new aquatic themed points of interest. Another interesting thing discovered in the files from Update 7.40 that could tie into the earthquakes is this future image of Wailing Woods. As you can see, it looks pretty dramatically different than the current Wailing Woods, almost as if all the trees are dying or have been burned. Plus, most of the earthquakes that we've seen so far have taken place very near this area, so it'll be interesting to see if those things are related at all. Another major leaked event that according to the files appears to be set for Season 8 is called the Kraken Event. Now, what's interesting about the name Kraken is that it most likely means one of two things. The first theory is that Kraken refers to the legendary giant squid-like monster that hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about, which would actually make a ton of sense if the theme for the season does end up being water-based. But if you look at the file names, you'll notice that it's spelled C-R-A-C-K-E-N, when the squid monster version of the word is actually spelled K-R-A-K-E-N. So that's leading a lot of people to believe that Kraken in this context is simply referring to some kind of major crack on the map, likely from one of the earthquakes. And if you notice, the first file name in the event folder is named Kraken underscore city. This ties into what is probably the most popular theory regarding the Kraken event, and that is that it's going to affect and possibly even fully destroy Tilted Towers. This is mainly due to some other smaller leaks discovered in the most recent update, including files named Debris underscore Grow, Debris underscore Split Burst, and a file in the same group which uses the term Collapse. I personally don't believe that Fortnite would actually destroy Tilted Towers, but that's just something else that could end up being a really big deal. And if all the earlier references to natural disasters with the earthquakes and tsunami weren't enough for you, another file from the same update seems to suggest that we may be getting a tornado as part of the build-up event to Season 8. This is particularly interesting when you consider the Week 11 loading screen which was just added into the game a few days ago. It shows the Tier 4 Prisoner skin basically creating what appears to be a fire tornado. Could that be used to fight the Ice King or melt the snow biome on the map? It's definitely possible. And the final piece of information slash theory regarding Season 8 that I want to discuss are the Fortnite Dragon Eggs. If you guys didn't know, sometime around the beginning of Season 7, players discovered three large dragon eggs that sounded as if they had heartbeats near the bottom of Polar Peak. It was initially believed that the eggs would hatch for Chinese New Year's, but they stayed in the same location for almost the entire duration of the season. But on the same day as Update 7.40, it was discovered that the dragon eggs were gone. This led to two different theories. First is that the eggs finally hatched and the dragons will be revealed and unleashed as part of the new season. And the other theory is that since there's no cracked eggshells or any kind of debris in the area where the eggs were located, the prisoner simply stole them and is going to use them for something crazy.
I think that wraps up all of the most important known and leaked information regarding Season 8 of Fortnite. There's just so much mystery about the season as a whole, which only makes me more hyped for it. So be sure to go out there and complete 13 of the 20 overtime challenges, which will get you guys the Season 8 Battle Pass for free. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you watched the entire thing, be sure to let me know with a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know if you're excited for Fortnite Season 8, and also, what is your best guess of what the theme of the season will be? Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do whatever the heck you want, and I will catch you guys next time.